Bhagavad Gita, texts 28-30 to 30. Arjuna said, O Krishna, seeing my own relatives preparing to fight with one another, my limbs are quivering and my body trembles. My mouth is drying up and my hair is bristling. My bow Gandiva is slipping from my hands and my skin burns. I am unable to keep my composure and feel as though I am losing my mind. O Keshava, I can see only misfortune ahead. Madhusudan Saraswati comments that the use of the name Krishna here indicates that Arjuna is calling upon Krishna as the one who has the power to remove the sorrow of his devotees, being of the nature of eternal bliss. Although Arjuna's love has the power to subordinate Krishna, Krishna's acceptance of a subordinate role does not change his position as God. The love that such devotees possess is the gift of God, bestowed upon those who desire nothing more. From within the compact of that love, Krishna bewilders Arjuna to think in terms of lesser concepts, such as material gain, dharma and liberation. Still, the good heart of Arjuna shines forth even as he exemplifies the plight of an illusioned being. Remembering the prowess of Krishna when he killed Keshi, the last demon that Krishna killed in Raja, before he ventured to Mathura, Arjuna, while expressing doubts, demonstrates his confidence in Krishna's ability to destroy them. Arjuna spoke with humility as Keshi, the mad horse who attacked Krishna and Raja, represents false pride. The great warrior Arjuna is brought to tears at the thought of fighting with his relatives. Such is the power of material attachment. Humbled, he takes shelter of his friend Krishna. After expressing his reservations about fighting, Arjuna next makes an elaborate attempt to rationalize his material attachments in the name of Dharma, decency, scripture and compassion. While his arguments have value and to themselves, in the present context they are symptomatic of his delusion.